WPML Export and Import is an add-on plugin that greatly simplifies the way you migrate your multilingual content from one site to another. It supports all types of content, including posts, pages, custom post types, and WooCommerce products. In this video, I will show you how to use the WPML Export and Import plugin to import your multilingual product information from a spreadsheet into a WooCommerce store. But before we start, let me show you how it actually works. You need to export your data from the source site or compile it into a spreadsheet like we'll do in this video. Then you import that data into the target site. But when you do this, all content will be mixed together under the site's default language. That's when you click one button in the WPML Export and Import plugin and it connects all your imported content so it appears correctly across all languages. Now, let's start from the beginning. First, you'll need two spreadsheets. One with information about your product categories and another one with information about your products. Don't worry, I'll show you what these spreadsheets need to contain before you can import them. And of course, you'll need a target site you will import products into. On this site, make sure to install and activate the following WPML plugins. WPML Core Plugin, WPML String Translation, WooCommerce Multilingual and Multi-Currency, and WPML Export and Import. Of course, you'll need WooCommerce as well. Once you activate all these plugins, make sure to go through their setup wizards. This includes setup for WooCommerce, WPML, and WooCommerce Multilingual and Multi-Currency. When you're setting up WPML, Make sure to enable the same languages you will be importing from your spreadsheets. And finally, you will also need a way to import your spreadsheets. WPML Export and Import supports the following ways of importing content. Native WordPress Import, Native WooCommerce Import, WP Import Export Plugin, and WP All Import and its WooCommerce add-on. In this video, I will use the popular WP All Import Pro plugin and its add-on for importing WooCommerce data from spreadsheets. Okay, let's start by looking at the spreadsheets we want to import. Here's my spreadsheet with product categories. Please note that this is a general spreadsheet, which should work with any plugin for importing spreadsheets. In other words, it's not built specifically for the WP All Import plugin that I'm using in this video. As you can see, its main columns hold the standard information you would expect for a taxonomy. This includes information about the term ID, term name, slug, and so on. A quick note about IDs, both for categories and your products and other content. If you're importing new content, IDs are mostly used for reference, so the import plugin can correctly connect related categories and content. But if your import will update existing data on the site, the IDs in your spreadsheet need to exactly match those in the site you're importing to. Additionally, you can have a different order of rows than the one we have here, but you should always import parent categories first before the child ones. English is the default language here and I marked it with green color just so that it's easier to follow. Below, you can see the French and German translations of these product categories. Note that they use exactly the same columns. OK, so before we can import this data, our spreadsheet needs to have three additional columns, which will allow WPML Export and Import plugin to correctly connect all the categories across languages. First column, WPML Import Language Code, is super simple, and you just put the language code for each category and its translations. You need to use the standard two-letter language codes, which you can find on Wikipedia. It's under the article called List of ISO 639 Language Codes. In our case, we have four product categories in English, so we put EN for them, and then for French translations we put FR, and for German ones DE. Second column, WPML Import Source Language Code, is exactly what its name suggests. You need to fill this only for translations and you put the language code of the original source language. In this case, it's EN for English. And finally, we have the column called WPML Import Translation Group. 
This column allows to connect all translations with the correct product category in the default language. In our case, you use the same number, 5, for our clothing category in English, then in French, and finally in German. And it's the same for the accessories category, 10 in English, French, and German. OK, and let's take a look at our product spreadsheet. It will work very similar to categories. As you can see, it has different columns for different information about each product. This includes the product ID, SKU, title, product type, and so on. This is all pretty standard data, but let's look at the ones important to our translations. Each product needs to have a unique SKU, which is short for stock keeping unit. It identifies this exact product in your internal records. It's a string, which means it can include text and numbers. And here, it's important to note that SKU for a given product needs to be the same across all languages. Next, there's the parent product ID, which we need for product variations. So in our case, we have a blue and green hoodie, which are variations of the main hoodie product. So for these two, we put the main hoodie's ID value in this column. We need to do this for each language accordingly. But wait, how do you know which IDs to use for your products? Can you just make them up? Actually, all you need to do is make sure to import parent products and their translations first. After importing parent products, you will be able to retrieve their IDs from the site and use them in this column. We can also have upsells and cross-sells. To specify upsells and cross-sells, we need to provide a comma-separated list of SKUs for products we want to feature here. And let's not forget the column for product categories. Here, we don't use the category slug, but the actual name of the category. For our product's translations, we need to use the translated names of those categories. And if you have hierarchical categories, you need to start with the parent category, followed by the greater than sign and child category after it. And finally, we need to add the same three columns for multilingual information as we did for our spreadsheet containing product categories. It works the same. First column to add the language code for each row. Second column to add language code for the source language. And third column to group translations together with the product in the original language. In other words, we need to tell WPML which translation belongs to which product in the original language. When you're importing products, the best way is to simply copy over the values from the SKU column. As you can see, this is a bit different than what we used for our spreadsheet with product categories. This is because categories don't usually have a natural unique identifier, like products have their SKUs. So after copying over SKUs, you can see that, of course, it's the same value for our hoodie product in English, French, and German. OK, so that's it. We can proceed to importing. Please note that we'll now import content using the WP All Import plugin. If you're using a different plugin for importing your content, it will look differently, but the concept is the same. We first need to import the spreadsheet with our product categories and then the one with products themselves. As I mentioned, WPML Export and Import supports multiple ways of importing your content. For this demo, I'll use the WP All Import Pro plugin and its add-on for importing WooCommerce products from a spreadsheet. You start by uploading your spreadsheet and selecting what you're importing. In our case, taxonomies, and more specifically, product categories. Next screen only summarizes the information in our spreadsheet. And it's the third screen where we need to map columns from our spreadsheet, which you can see listed on the right, 
to the corresponding information about our product categories. You just drag and drop information to fields. For example, we start with category name. The important part when importing categories is to expand the term meta section and drag and drop the names of our three specific WPML columns with language information. Please note that this part might look different if you use a plugin other than WP All Import, but the idea is the same. Just drag and drop them from the sidebar and for the names, use the column names without brackets. I'll fast forward through the rest as it's all pretty standard mapping. On the next screen, we drag and drop the term ID to be our unique identifier and click to proceed. Okay, let's import. Cool, we're done with importing product categories, so let's proceed with products themselves. It's essentially the same. Upload the spreadsheet, and continue to the screen where you map your WooCommerce product fields. Again, I'll fast forward as this is all standard fields mapping. Okay, I'll pause for a second because now we come to the important part when mapping product fields. We need to add our three custom fields corresponding to our three columns that hold translation information in our spreadsheet. If you don't use WP All Import plugin, this might look a bit different, but the concept is the same. Again, just like for categories, you drag and drop them from the sidebar and for the names use the column names without brackets. And now we proceed to mapping the rest of our standard fields. Once you're done mapping fields, use the ID column for the unique identifier for product records and proceed. And we're done. Let's import our content. That's it. If you go to products, You'll see your products as drafts, but all language versions are mixed under English, which is our default language. No problem, WPML export and import will sort this out in a minute. But before doing that, why are they drafts and not published? This is on purpose, because otherwise my site's front end would display this whole mess of languages for the visitors and would appear broken. So to avoid this, when importing your content, you should set an option to save imported content as drafts. WPML export and import will take care of this automatically for all supported import workflows and plugins. We go to WPML export and import page and simply click to run it. Wait for a minute or more, depending on the import size, And you're done. If we visit the list of products again, we only have English ones listed. And let's check the front end. Here's a list of products in my default language. If I switch to French, we can see it's all there. A quick look at our variable product hoodie shows that everything is translated, including variations. Note that the categories are also translated and correctly connected. If I now switch to German, I get the same correct product, which means everything is connected correctly and mapped across all languages. Finally, if we check another product, we can see that our cross-sales information is also translated and correctly connected.